Hello, and welcome back to Sage Viver Season 2 Gladiators. This is Episode 4, and in the last episode, Sebastian was sent to the Dueling Towers, but dueled his way back into the game, winning an idol piece in his favor and putting it right in his pocket. Now, as soon as he returned back to the game, I had a little announcement for, well, the entire cast because we were hitting our first swap of the season! So, here is the cast list of that swap. Everybody kind of got shifted around. Oh, it's three tribes this time, so only one tribe is going to be winning immunity at a time. The other ones will be headed to Tribal Council. So, now that you've kind of gotten an opportunity to look at that swap and everything that's coming, let's go ahead and see what people are thinking about the swap. We'll go ahead and get into the challenge, which I kind of forget which challenge it is, so I'll get back to you on that, but let's get into it. All right, so with this tribe swap, I'm glad that I'm on a tribe with more people. You know, it gives us a better chance to win these and it's less people, you know, more, more options to take out a tribal. But it's also really scary because uh, me and Elk are the lesser tribe, not a lesser tribe, the lesser tribe. We are the only tribe to lose players. So we are targets. So I need to talk to people ASAP and get on people's good side before this completely turns around. So the vote's going down. And my plan is to go for Rylaw. Out of everyone here, he's the safest bet. Sorry, dude. So Rylaw has played his advantage. He's safe. We can't vote him. Safety with El Power. What the hell? Well, comes down to two names Elk or Brandon. One of you two gotta go. Elk, you messaged me way too late. However, came up with a good plan during the vote. I'm going to stick with you, Brandon. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, dude. So Brandon has pretty much threatened me with an idol. I now have to vote Elk. Oh, boy. I... That idol doesn't get played that bad. Because the vote ties, otherwise. Fuck. And the vote tied. He didn't play it. Oh, it's fine. Elk, I'm sorry, I was threatening to switch. But if this snake isn't going to do it, it's going to bite him. You went for a risky gamble, and you didn't follow through. How did you think this was going to play out? So, Brandon... Dumb move, man. Dumb move. And I hope you lose in the tower. Good riddance. Hello. Time for another confessional. We want to add a rainbow in there in post. Uh, today was the swap. Yesterday was the swap. And it was somewhat eventful. In my preseason stuff, I mentioned that I was really excited to play with Dirk. I don't know if that's preseason, but like before the whole game started. Um, because I have like friends of friends with him, and I've heard great things. Totally like 
I tell you this, it's just I have a friend who's like, oh my god, yeah, I love Dirk to talk today. I'll talk to Dirk today. I'm like, okay, this dude sounds cool. One of the one of the few straight white men that I'll give the time of day, and I swap with him, and I really enjoy him. I'm excited to get to know him better. On top of that, I got to stay with, I got to stay with like one of my better allies, Cam. I know that my trust rankings, I put Snowy and Taylor above him, but he was the person that I think I consistently talked to the most. I was always just always a little bit wary because of day one. I think now things are going to be a bit better. I could see at swap or, like, or at merge, I don't know if there's a second swap, but like the next time tribes change without voting, I could probably have him above Snowy. I don't know above Taylor. We'll see. Um, we're just going to have to figure out basically what our long game looks like. But right now, he's telling me what feels like a lot, and I could be like mi still missing a lot, but he's doing a good job at sharing information in a way that feels like he trusts me a lot. Um, Echo is also here. Best way to describe him. And then, on top of the jerk of, of it all, the actual format, or like the split of the tribes, is really interesting. So we have a 3 3 1. Fuck purple, they didn't make it, whatever. But me and Cam had talked and basically said, well, do we want to target the one or the three? Because we are close to majority and it's either going to be hard to like swing the single person because they'll be like, you know, the hot commodity. Or if we team up with the, with the other big group of three, target the one, Sebastian. If that's like vocalized to them, they'll flip immediately. If I was playing, I'd consider that. But I don't know. Still a lot to sit with, but we are most likely going to tribal, so I can't avoid stuff any longer. So it just depends on how me and Cam hold up. If Echo will want to flip, I don't think he will, because we treated him well enough. I just don't know how reliable he is. So should probably touch base with that today. I'll reach out to him today. But right now, it seems like Cam is wanting to potentially target Sebastian. But the thing that I had floated to him, which might work, might not, is um, basically making like another core four, but with me and him, Dirk and Caleb. Because Dirk would be like my guy, Caleb would be his guy, and we could be like, yo, link up, bro down, gross, but whatever. And then like, again, establish a comfortable majority with people that we can talk to, that we can trust, which we can have like, a lot of open conversations with and work through. We can target one of their guys, and then we can put out Echo next round. Sebastian can, can be like a straggler if we need it, but basically make sure that we're in a total honest like allyship. We're not gonna go to them and be like, yeah, let's talk about your guy, and we're gonna put, our, put our, ours next. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you, sucker! Get out of here! Like, that's not fun. That's not intuitive. I think that's the most of what's happened so far. Um, I've had a, like, a, I had a really busy yesterday, so I needed a whole lot of time to do everything. I should have done, like, a haul for my, uh, shopping market. I think I got rid of everything. Yeah, I did. Um, but I got a really cute shirt that I enjoy, and that's probably, like, That'd be the one, the one fucking show. I got a, I got a VHS for A New Hope. I was like, oh, those are like really expensive. Those nerds are fucking like, they really want like the original cut because they hate the new stuff and they hate the bonk and they hate the Han shot first, whatever. Um, it's worth five bucks, but it's cool that I own it now. Like if we're down, if we're 18 people, 20, no, 21 people, not 18 yet. 21 people in a 24 person org. We, I guess, earliest merge. You probably just want to put it pretty late. Maybe like 15? I can see that happening. We have a long way to go. So I shouldn't be making too many solid plans about endgame Y yet. Um, it's hard to say now. Came is probably my endgame plans. I can't just like goat snowy. But, you know, that's fine. Honestly, just need to make sure that I get there. So comfortable majority really reaffirm Dirk really connect with Caleb Cam I don't think will flip on me quite yet and I don't know, we'll see if my social game can keep up because 
not doing great right now. But I've been good. Hopefully, I'll stay good. Um, and then get back. Good morning. Quick check in. We have officially swapped. Uh, super exciting. You never know what's going to happen with a swap. You can get real fucked uh, real quick. I feel with the swap, I kind of lucked out. I ended up with Dirk, my number one. I mean, that could be bad for us if we get perceived as a duo and get targeted because of it. But right now, I'm hoping that we're able to kind of play it enough apart that we'll be okay. But some new characters and also uh, another old one. I was also swapped with Chelsea. Uh, perfect. I was a little nervous that she was going to, or maybe she will still target me just because she was in the last tribe. But I take some comfort in the fact that she set up a, an alliance with Dirk and I. And I'm hoping that that will give her enough confidence and feel secure enough with Dirk and I that she won't be pushing my name. Now, if she hears her name's the other name out there, she might start doing that if we get to that point. But hopefully we won't, and hopefully I don't have to worry about it. And I can just kind of, like, focus on building bonds with new players. So, speaking of the new players, number one on my list is Sebastian. The dude's an open book. He gave me so much, told me more about... Uh, he told me more about the... Uh, Dueling Towers and the choice you make at the end. He said that there's 25 urns. You get to choose one and you find out what's in it later. I mean, obviously there's pieces of this that he may be leaving out, but I appreciate that at least I have a little bit more knowledge here. Unless he's completely lying and then, again, kudos to him for just playing me, but I kind of don't think that's the case. He also told me a little bit about the deal made in blood because we were curious about that after the battleship challenge. And just kind of was like giving me quite a bit about his tribe. So originally I was going to use my idle clue to try and kind of leverage uh, information from him, but I haven't had to. So it makes me a little bit leery to just give that up now, even though I don't view it as particularly valuable. Um, I don't even know if I have to do it though to build the trust with him. If I'm just somebody in open ear, you know, I'm very talkative in return, and kind of just, you know, voice that I want to work together, that might be all I need. That said, I still might leverage it in the future, or might share it in the future with him, and possibly Cam. Cam's the other person out of the four new people that I've really hit it off with, uh, much less than Sebastian, but enough uh, that it's somebody that I'm definitely looking at as a potential ally. Kind of you know, trashed his uh, tribe a little bit, talked about the inactives, wanted me to know that he's not uh, particularly, like, loyal to them because they really haven't been pulling their weight. And I feel like he was kind of hinting at Adelaide and Echo, even though he kind of just said his old tribe in general. But that's perfect, because I did not want this to be a three-versus-three thing with Sebastian in the middle getting pulled one way or the other. Um, I mean, I'm hoping that I have enough of an end with Sebastian, but now Cam might as well after how long they were in BC last night. Uh, that if it became a three versus three thing that we could pull him. But I, I'm really hoping he doesn't come back because I don't, I'm not interested in that. I don't want to protect Chelsea. Uh, I don't, uh, like, yeah, I don't want to specifically target one group just because of the tribe that they came from. If anything, this is the perfect time to start building like those relationships across your, your tribes that will last you throughout this game through the next swap and the merge etc so I have no interest in targeting them um, are the other two new people uh, Echo and Adelaide well we'll start with Adelaide Adelaide is okay I don't really have much of a I don't have really a positive or a negative impression of them they weren't very talkative I think they were just busy and so we'll save it for today to see kind of, uh, after I feel them out, how I feel about them. Echo, on the other hand, came in with a weird energy about, you know, just not really giving it their all, already being seen as an active, and just kind of chilling, and they didn't want to do the challenge or even try the challenge yesterday because it was their day off and they didn't want to do work. And I'm like, 
it just kind of, it's just kind of weird to me. It was just kind of a weird energy to come in with. And so that's the first, like, if we lose this challenge, that'd be the first person I'd look at to vote out. Um, you might be surprised. You might think of Chelsea, but I prefer Chelsea to stay around only because now we have a little bit of a history together. Uh, not because I want to work with her or trust her, but I'd much rather have somebody I have some history with that's not building probably uh, solid bonds with anybody else than to keep an echo who I don't know at all. So that'd be my first target, but again, I'm not going to protect Chelsea by any means um, if her name's thrown out there and it comes down to her versus uh, whoever, like if it's somebody I, especially like Dirk or even like a Sebastian or a Kim at this point, I'd probably vote Chelsea over them. I don't know. Maybe I could be convinced. But it'll be interesting. Uh, last thing real quick, the challenge. I suck ass at. Uh, it's terrible. I am not good at these types of games. It's a huge learning curve. My high score right now is 19, which is embarrassing. Um, I'm hoping today that I can at least get a few more points than that. Um... I'm not very confident. Yeah, I, I was very bad at that game. I mean, my average score is like 10. Um, I just hope that like the, rela the relationships I'm building right now, that even if we lose, and even if I am the weak link in terms of the challenge, that it's enough to keep me around. Uh, I guess that is something I should worry about. I'll be curious to see how others do. But today, work on the challenge a little bit and just continue to build up bonds with uh, these new players. And we'll see how it goes. All right, nice, cool. Talk to you later, bye. Hey guys, it's Dirk coming in hot. Um, oh man, so much to talk about. So we finally got our tribal swap, which was exciting. Um, saw that at that joint tribal, Sebastian and uh, Corny, I think it was, were were voted out, and they uh, and it looks like Sebastian was the one to make it back. Um, so then, at that point, they announced the swap, which I've been waiting for something like that to happen because I already feel, felt super tight with Durs, Lemmy, and Caleb. I felt like there wasn't really much that could happen uh, as far as progression of the game. Like, just needed. Like, we, we had two people that were definitely the ones to be voted out if we we had tribal, so. Um, swap happened. I'm super nervous. I'm on the phone with somebody and uh, I'm watching the names come up and uh, I see Caleb gets put on my same tribe and I'm just like, fuck! yeah really loud uh, in the person I'm on the phone with his ear and then I got Chelsea and I was like no um <clears throat> sorry Chelsea nothing against you just uh was low on my trust rankings over there because we didn't talk that much but um so now we get put in this new tribe with three former Ivakaru members um one Cena member, Sebastian. Um, the three of Akaru members are Adelaide, Cam, and Echo. And <clears throat> from our tribe, there's me, Caleb, and Chelsea. And that gives us a 3 3 split with Sebastian being the swing vote. Um, but, you know, things didn't really, haven't really shaped shaken down that way um so first things first you know right when we do the swap caleb and i immediately start talking to each other i'm so happy to get caleb i love that guy um to the moon and back uh just a good dude so glad to to have caleb with me like that's uh i've got a final two deal with him he's my ride or die i want to get to the end with him if possible Yo, know, we'll see where the game takes us, but that's, that's, I really want, want to, to hold to it if I can. Um, it would be great, something great about just that person that connected with on day one. 
But uh, so right away we start <clears throat> talking and Chelsea messages us and says, basically, do we want a three-way or alliance? Caleb's first concern was like, fuck, we got Chelsea. And um, she had thrown out his name when we were over there uh, on our original trod. So he, he wasn't really excited about that. But then Chelsea was like, hey, you know, the three of us got to stick together. So we made an alliance, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, which <clears throat> I just like naming alliances. I'm going to try to name as many alliances as I can. Um, I've gotten in on a couple. Um, so, yeah. We, we got that alliance going. Hardly any chat has happened. It just was established. But uh, right away, I really connected with Adelaide. Um, been talking to Adelaide a lot. In fact, we, we talked for like an hour earlier on the phone. Um, we got really good vibes from Adelaide. And we have like really similar tastes in movies. So like, it's really good to develop like another close bond with somebody else. Because, you know, it's great to have Caleb, but got to really spread my seeds uh, and I, I hope to get back to Lemmy and Durs like I felt really good about them and I'd like to connect with them again and I'm sure they'll have <coughs> people they're close with um, so as far as the tribe the tribe getting to know them um, I really liked Adelaide a talked a lot a, a decent amount with cam i really like cam um it seems like everybody likes cam um i, I kind of think cam is the center of our tribe right now it seems like no matter who you talk with that's somebody who like people want to work with cam um and then there's echo who i've hardly talked to and when i talk to caleb he says the same thing echo hasn't talked a whole lot Chelsea's doing her same thing, <clears throat> where she doesn't hardly talk, and when she does, you know, like, short one-word answers. So, we have our challenge, where we have this weird app game, where we have to hold down our finger anytime we uh, want to move this arrow, and you gotta navigate and collect these pieces, and um, it's just one of those games you gotta keep playing over and over to get better at, and I had to work, and I put up an okay score, you know, I, it was comparative to a lot of the other people that, that played, so I didn't feel terrible about my score, but um, Cam was ridiculous, he got over 100, uh, so that's something that's something to, to note, I guess. He's, he's very social, he's talked more game with me, um, and we'll get to, to that too, but he's talked more game with me than some of the other new people, so... Um, I think he's a very good player, and that's somebody I think I want to work with for now, but might be a shield, um, you know, going going down the line. Um, so, yeah, back to the challenge. Chelsea got a three. Like, like a three. One, two, three. Uh, not awesome. Um, I was worried about my score. And then I saw it was about comparative. Uh, I mean, there were people on the other tribe. I mean, to be fair, they got zeros. Uh, so she did better than them. But, um, so far, talking with everybody, I, I talked to several people. And right away, um, Sebastian, because we, Caleb and I both realized Sebastian's probably the most important person to socialize with right now. But he said he wanted a four alliance with him, me, Caleb, and Cam. And then so did uh, Adelaide. Adelaide said that they wanted to do a four with them, Cam, myself, and Caleb. Um, with the bell of the ball. <laughs> Bells of the ball. Uh, but in any case, um, so is Cam. And I... I kind of like the idea of just a four-person alliance, you know, a little, a little tighter. But at the same time, I want to keep things open. Uh, I like Sebastian and I like Adelaide a lot. I like Adelaide probably the most out of um, my new set of tribe mates. Um, so 
we, we ended up going with the five, which is perfect for me. That leaves Echo and Chelsea on the outs. We've talked about pros and cons of each. I kind of wanted to keep Chelsea because, I mean, she, as far as I know, wants to stay strong and she doesn't seem like she talks a lot, that she's active enough to, to start going and making plans right now, I don't think, to like flip on me or anything. So I, I would have liked to keep her around for at least one vote, but it was hard to defend, you know, when talking to Cam um, but, and others that she only got three. And it was like, it's kind of like she didn't really put effort into the challenge. Uh, so, and, and I don't want to lose the next challenge, to be honest. So, uh, along those things coupled with the fact that um, if we show, you know, we're not trying to follow by tribal lines, we're willing to sacrifice one of our own, I think that'll kind of get us in good with these guys. I'm really considering sharing my idol clue with Adelaide because I just, you know, knowledge, um, information is currency, and if there's anything I can do to uh, further solidify that relationship, and maybe even they can help me find the idol, uh, I think that's good. I just don't want them to then tell Cam and Cam trusts me less. But, uh, yeah, looking like a Chelsea vote, I had an hour-long conversation with Caleb earlier about the breakdown of our tribe, how we felt. And then talk to Adelaide, mostly just vibing, a little bit of game talk. I think we're going to talk later, and that's what I'm going to tell her. Tell them about my clue. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all for now. And uh, see you on the other side of this vote. So since we swapped tribes, I've been talking a lot with Cam and Caleb and Dirk. And Caleb and Dirk in particular have been asking me a lot of questions about the duels. Like, uh, what did you win? Um, Corny do and did you have to make a decision like they mentioned that Brandon made a decision when he when he won his duel and they kind of worded it in the same way so I'm kind of concerned that they're like comparing notes I'm telling them the same thing that I didn't get anything yet I don't know if I'm gonna get anything but I am kind of suspicious that I don't know if I can trust them like I felt like I could but now that like they're both asking me the same questions. I'm like, I don't know anymore, so I'll have to keep an eye on them. So I'm in an interesting spot right now. Cam, Adelaide, and Echo were all on an original tribe together. And so were Dirk, Chelsea, and Caleb. So then there's me, and this is a tribe of seven. So it's literally three, three, and one, and I am the one. So that can either put me in a really good spot or a really bad one. I can either be the swing vote between the two original tribes, or I could be the easy out. Everyone's like, he doesn't have anyone with him, let's just get rid of him. That sort of thing. And I really hope not, because I just came back into the game. Like, that would be kind of cruel of them to do that to me. I'm not saying they wouldn't do it, but it would be kind of cruel, I feel like. So, hopefully we either win, or if we lose, I am, you know, I'm fine, right? So, wish me luck. Okay, so we just had our tribe swap, and uh, we lost because uh, our first challenge was after tribe swap because uh, we had two people not do our challenge that help us out. Um, with Arps, I can understand, she was way at a school trip, uh, and that with, uh, with uh, Elf, there was no reason that he couldn't, that he didn't, that's it, or at least he didn't communicate to us. Um, I know that uh, Elf is throwing out my name. And uh, um, so, trying to flip, flip the vote on him, hoping he goes. Um, and uh, you know, if I feel like I'm threatened, that somebody's going to going to uh, vote me. If they're going to vote me out, I will not afraid to use my power to save myself and uh, make sure that I don't go just uh, into the arena this time. Uh, what's up, cycle four, confessional four. Uh, we swapped. Biggest part of this, so we'll get that out of the way first. Um, not really happy with how the swap went in terms of who's where. Uh, it's funny that Matt and Snowy ended up together. It sucks Taylor's on her own. Um, and it sucks I got the two probably most inactive people from our old tribe. Uh, one plus side, Caleb's probably someone that I want to stick working with for a bit 
I could tell from the cast reveal that would probably be the case. Um, Dirk's been pretty chill to talk to and work with. Sebastian's been pretty cool to talk to and work with. Uh, I'd say Chelsea's probably going home here. Uh, 6 1 more than likely. Uh, the Alliance of Five is probably all gonna vote her, and then I've also got Echo voting her probably. Uh, I'd say Chelsea's gonna vote Echo based on what the Alliance has been working on getting to her. Um, so hopefully he'll just think of it as a stray vote um, and thinks it'll probably keep him safe working with me because then he'll be able to trust me more. Uh, I'm kind of upset we didn't win immunity with my challenge performance. I'd, I'd be lying if I said part of me voting Chelsea here was be or wasn't because of her challenge performance. Because three to me is just clear that she did not try. Um, otherwise, I'm just hoping that the next swap is a bit more generous, in my opinion. Uh, if there was any tribe to lose to, I'm glad Taylor's the one safe and not Matt and Snowy. Um, otherwise, uh, I think I'm sitting pretty decent on this tribe. Um, it's not like many people who I think are gunning for me. In fact, I don't think anyone is actually thinking at all about voting me this cycle. Probably not next cycle either. Um, we'll see though. Y'all, so here is my rant. I'm not super happy about the tribe swap. The people that I'm closest to the most is in the other tribe. So I am very, very, very super nervous about what is going to happen at Tribal. And I'm just hoping I can come out with a miracle. Miracle? I can't speak, sorry. And hopefully Caleb and Dirk can be safe too. I have a feeling they're going to try to get one of us out. I'm not sure everyone is super, super quiet. So we will see. Okay, so... I'm really close to Lemmy and I'm close to Brandon. So I'm excited to see where it goes in the future. And hopefully I can keep going all the way to Marge. So far I feel really confident as to where I am with the whole dynamic. So we will see what the future holds. So as you can see, everybody was a bit shooken up from their tribe swaps. Um, the Thrax tribe had a little bit more of a straightforward tribal council. I'll show the parchments now, but as you can tell, it was a 5-1 to one vote for Chelsea, just as Cam predicted. Now, Mermillo, though, when we're getting into the Mermillo tribe, that tribal was a little bit different. Let me show you those parchments now. But there was a 3v3 three, three tie between Brandon and Elk in this one that did make them go into a revote. Now, in the revote, they did end up voting out Brandon. Um, so Brandon and Chelsea were headed off to the duels, um, and we will get into those results in just a second. What a move, Brandon. What a move. What a move. Dude, you are just such a game player. You are. You maneuver this game with such grace. And, and I can't believe I was blindsided. Oh my god, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, fucking right, right. You're a cornball. You tried. You tried. You tried so hard. Oh, I've Ida, please vote for me. I bet that shit was damn near unanimous. Unanimous the second time, unanimous. I bet that shit was damn near unanimous the second time. Don't try shit like that ever again. That's weird. I don't know why I do that. But yeah, never try that ever again. Don't try that shit. And if you come back, don't try it again. All right. Hope you don't come back though, Loki. I'd rather lose a tribe member than have you in my tribe. Straight up, so. Bye bye. So Brandon wins the duel yet again and is revived and sent back into the game to fight again for his life. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Sage Viver Season 2 Gladiators. Make sure to smash the like button to show support for not only the series, but the cast and myself, and consider subscribing to see more content. It does really help out a lot. I love you guys so much, and we will see you in the next episode.